Hello everybody, welcome back to your favourite FC24 series on YouTube, it's Beer Goalkeeper episode 53. And we have come to the end of the Bundesliga season and we are still in for a slight chance to win the league. The last four matches, I think we're like seven points behind Bayern Munich at the moment. So technically it is still on, not very likely, but you'll just have to wait and see what happens. And you can see these are the last four games, very winnable in my eyes. I have just one question for you. Are you ready? As always, before we get into the first match, remember to leave a like on the video. It really does help my channel. Let's see if we get to 100 likes. Subscribe if you're new and turn the notifications on so you don't miss a thing. Let's get into it. First match is against Heidenheim. And we get the first chance very early on. Ball played into Arch. Hits it first time and bangs it past the goalkeeper. Already putting us in the lead. And what a start. Now, of course, it had to be the main man, Cameron Archer. But this ball is drilled into his feet by Sven Cara. No defenders near him. Hits it first time. And literally, keeper no chance. Set himself, but it didn't have a clue which way it was going such a good finish literally watch the ball the whole way into the back of the net one nil up and a few minutes later or 25 minutes in now we're back with Cameron Archer gets a shot off again at the same position this time the goalkeeper's there to match it from the corner we're in the header just past the top corner we are putting them under loads of pressure but again only 28th minute in and we have another opportunity this time Franco hits it at the same corner and finds the back of the net that side of the net has taken an absolute pounding and finally we get another one literally it's all been us this whole beginning of the match look how easy it is Franco literally left his man in the dust didn't have a clue what he's doing bangs it at that near post the keeper so close yet so far 2-0 up what a start to this match and finally half time is here we do have the 2-0 lead and Heidenheim have done absolutely nothing not even been in our half of the pitch but finally in the second half they do get their first chance a little free ball into the box takes a shot early but straight at me I make a little bit of a meal of it and we do clear our lines but 53rd minute they are finally building a bit of confidence here Get past my defender now he's got time and shoots it low look at that for a save that's a ridiculous save he had a bit more time than he thought he takes it early again but look at that down low into the floor but I still keep that ball out and again they're still all over us early on in the second half with the ball towards the back post the win ahead and hits the side net in the wrong side for him First opportunity for us in the second half, Cameron Archer on the ball, got loads of time space, finds a little through, but one of the goalkeeper, of course he slots it away. Another one. 3-0 now, and this game is all but done. 60 minutes on the clock, only 30 minutes left. Can they get back into it? Probably not, but it's a great goal. Cameron Archer waited, waited, waited. The defender comes out, leaves that little gap in there, and Sankara with the goal, a little finesse past the goalkeeper. Tried to make himself as big as possible, but he wasn't big enough. Under the arm, back of the net, 3-0, and we could make it four. Literally a minute later, we're back on the ball, a through ball into Archer towards my little back heel into Franco hits it across the another one goalkeeper with another one 4 0 2 for Franco on the day literally like two minutes after kickoff we are just dominated now the through ball is pretty decent Archer behind the defender then a cheeky little back heel this time it was very necessary Franco sets himself bangs it across the goalkeeper puts his hands in the air like he just doesn't care this match is over over no chance at all for the comeback now but we could get another goal in 68th minute we are on another attack men flooding forward love a through ball again <laughs> This time it's Prass, and I think this is his first goal of the season. I don't think he's ever seen him play a match, but fair play to him. Runs off celebrating 5-0, and there's still 20 minutes left of this match. We have just been so dominant. They had a little bit of a spell just after half-time, but we just took over the ball, and they have not seen it since. Great little pass, quick first-time pass, and look at that. Bangs it past the keeper, who again is rooted to the floor. No chance at all. They are not giving up, though. They get enough opportunity. My defender holds up, but gets past him actually way too easy. Plays a little pass, hits it low again. No chance. Beautiful save. We do go on to win this match 5-0. Have a look at stats. Apparently only made two saves. Well, that's a lie. Wait, that's not right. It should say... Baba boy. I made way more than two, I swear. Their goalkeeper with the one, he was actually trash. But that win gives us that little bit more hope to win the league. Now we move on to another match. We have to win everyone at the end of the day. Her for this time. We are at home. What can we do? Nothing. Boring. The first half was literally the most boring thing I've ever seen. No shots from anyone, just terrible football overall. Too cagey, I suppose. No one wants to lose, but no one also wants to win. Second half, can it get a bit better? 71 minutes in now. We get one opportunity to see her forget it, though. Gets past my defender, takes a shot straight down my throat, palm it up into the air, and then gathered a rebound as well. Get a little bit left on me there, but that is it. What the f is this piece of shit? Probably the worst bit of football I think I've ever seen in my life. Literally one shot on goal. 
and that was it. 71 minutes and one shot. 90, oh, I can't believe it. It's terrible. We do get the draw though, so four points out of six. Not good, but now we move on to the next match, which is against Mitch and Gladback. And again, we need to win. We have to win these matches. Six minutes in, we actually get the first opportunity. It gets past the defender. Actually, beautiful. Carving out, making the run, holds it up the play, waiting for a bit of support, takes a shot at the near post. Easy save in the end, but we do get a corner. And from that corner, whipped into the front post, and we're headed down. And I think that's the first corner we've ever scored from. Literally whips it in there. Then Kara gets on the score sheet again. He started off very strong in the season. and the end, he's finally picking it back up again. Little floated ball. Gets ahead of the defender. Heads it down. I don't know what that defender on the line was doing. He gets in front of his goalkeeper. Blocks his vision. But I don't care because we are winning this match currently. But it doesn't matter. Mitchell Gladback try to luck. Pluck it out of the sky. Like picking an apple from a tree. Easy for me. Just for half time again. Another decent little save. A low down. Good strong left hand. Watch the ball all the way. Push it out for a corner. What can they do from their corner? Floats it in right into the middle and again easy for me and that is the half time whistle blown 1-0 bit more cage this match but it's a load better than the last one because we actually had a goal and some shots on goal into the second half we go can we get another one for that little bit of a cushion we're on the edge of the box holds the defender plays the ball into archer near post the goalkeeper covers it well and the defender come on that should be a pass back no joke 51 minutes in there, Richard Gladback get through, take a shot early, no problem for me at all, easy as you like. I am still going for the golden gloves, so these easy shots are lovely for me. 10 minutes left now, they're still trying a little hard, I whip the ball in early, get the header down, I make the save, but he's offside anyway. I feel like I should still get some rating for that, because it's a decent save at the near post. The ball's whipped in so early, runs miles offside, not even close, but the save at the end was a nice little one, keep the ball out, but apparently it doesn't mean nothing. 5 minutes left there, we get a shot. <laughs> Trickles past the post, no problem, they're still trying, the goalkeeper's up for this corner, and again, I cover my box so well, dominate it, pick up the ball, and I decide, the goalkeeper's out, I'm going for the long ranger, nowhere near, to be fair, it's a long shot, it's worth the effort, and the match does end 1-0, another 3 points, so 7 points out of the 9 so far, we are still in the running, 7.5 rating, 2 saves for me, their goalkeeper 6.6, .6, a 2 saves for him, but he did concede the goal, and now we move on to the final match of the league, this time it is against Mainz, we need to win, I keep saying it, because it's so very important, even if we don't win, we might not even get get Champions League football so every point matters here and we get the first opportunity five minutes in little brawl little toe poke the keeper slaps it away for a corner their first opportunity comes in the 30th minute look at time and space there's no defenders near him takes a shot easy again my gloves have got glue on them keep the ball out safe hands every day of the week 60 minutes again to slap the ball away a little bit more dodgy but it doesn't matter as long as you keep the ball out from the corner I think it's going wide but I wasn't too sure made the save 25 minutes on the clock and the back outside our box is running running gets the ball little turn hits the shot straight at me I make another meal of it our defender does clear it struggling a little bit here to keep the ball and they're all over us towards the byline they go holds up a little bit floats it towards the edge of the box thought he's going to volley it but he tries flicking it over my defender defender gets it but they do get a shot off and I get my hand up with another ridiculous save not sure how this worked out defender chests it and the ball glitches through his hand ball bounces around and they do the I'm Pretty sure he's offside, but either way, I get my hand up with another save. Now, 32nd minute, this match seems to go on for ages. They get another opportunity, hits it, I push it into danger zone. My defender clears it. Lucky for me, we are still tied up 0 0. Finally, we have Archer bursting through the defensive line into the byline, chips it towards the back post, keeper stops it. I thought he pushed it onto the post, but this is the most unorthodox save I think I've ever seen. He's looking at his goal and somehow flicks it away. A little bit dodgy in my eyes, but half time is here. Nil, nil, what a half that's been for me. Making save after save. Oh, seven rating already into second half we go can we get a goal to win this match but no we actually have the ball here dilly dallying on it they snatch it away running down the byline towards my goal now defender comes back gets just ahead of him and gets a shot off i'm not sure who saved it or what saved it it's delafeu takes the shot off the hill i was there to make the save anyway we got 15 minutes left we try a long range free kick straight to the goalkeeper pushes it out and that's all she wrote nil nil so we get eight points from 12 all clean sheets as well four in four is it enough for us to get anywhere in the league? We finished fourth. We do get Champions League. Literally joint the points of Wolfsburg. But we have a better goal difference. Bayern Munich got 67 points. We were way off the mark. Dortmund second. Leverkusen third. But at least we do have Champions League football for Augsburg. So it's not too bad in the end. What a season it has been though. 34 games, 18 wins, 9 losses, 22 goals against. Not bad at all. I don't know how we didn't win the league. And relegated Darmstadt, Hertha and Cologne. Nowhere near it. Now we have a massive choice to make. Do we stay at Augsburg for 46 grand? We have a fair few options. But I think 17 is interested. Dortmund is one of 137 grand. Leverkusen, 84. Hoffenheim, no thank you very much. Juventus, 
Uh, next one, Monaco, 76 grand. Chelsea, 121 grand. And West Ham. The only problem is I've played with West Ham and Chelsea in the last season. I mean last year's game. But it's the Premier League. It's a massive opportunity. Let me know down below who you think I should join. Look at the leaderboard there. You can see we did get the Golden Glove. 14 clean sheets in 34 matches. Those last four literally clutched it out for us. Mavogo from Stuttgart, 10 and 30. And a bunch on 7 and a few on 4 at the very bottom there. Top assist, Kane, 9 and 34. Beltran's nearly got their 8 and 29. He didn't play the last few matches. Musiala and Sani up there. We also have Archer and Brefthap. 6 and 6 for those two. And top goal score, Cunha beats Kane, 20. 23 and 34, Kane got 22 and 34, and we actually do have no one on that list. That is where we struggled for the goals. Kept the clean sheets, but we just couldn't get the goals to match it. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you'd enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. We're trying to get to 100 likes. Subscribe if you're new, and turn the notification on so you do not miss a thing. As always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.